James Bond came to me and said, for my next mission, I need a car to drive beneath the door. And I said, hey, no problem, with the right motor, should be easy. <laughs> Definitely not the case. A RC car motor is like this, but with this size it's impossible to drive beneath the door. But there are also other components that need to be changed. So this is how a normal motor looks like, and we will have a motor too. For the steering we normally use several motors, we don't have space for this. The battery of course must be smaller than the normal one, and every car needs a wheel. But we don't have that size, so we just use this stick. <laughs> okay, before we waste our time and make a lot of CAD work, it's better to build up a prototype because I don't know if this motor is really working. Stick and motor doesn't really work like I expected, so let's spend some CED work and make a new design. Okay, CED is done. So now we need to print it out. And for this, I want to say thank you to my sponsor, PCBWay.com. So if you have a project and want to print something out, simply go to their website, PCB 3D printing or anything else. Just load up your files. And after some days, you'll receive a nice package where everything is in what you need. So let's build up our PCB. thing is always the most complicated one. I mixed up the diameter with the radius of the wheel so the shaft is not fixed. So I have to drill a new one inside. Luckily I ordered enough wheels. Hopefully I can stop a car with it. Ok, 
Okay, last chance, last wheel. Hopefully it works, works. I'm a bit afraid. Let's check it. It's really working. Finally, these two components saved Mr. Bond's life. So maybe it saves your life too. Click that video to learn it.